Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some really amazing iPhone apps tricks that you probably didn't even know existed. These are tricks and hidden features that you can find within the stock apps of iOS and they're pretty cool and of course will allow you to do a lot more with your apps. Now another thing you can do right now is leave a like on this video to help this video and this channel do much much better and of course if you're watching the videos but haven't already subscribed make sure you do so. We're starting things off with the Reminders app. Now the Reminders app on iOS has a lot of features which most people don't actually use. Now when creating a new reminder you will have here the option to turn on the date and time, the location, add tags or flag a reminder. But did you know that even if you have created a reminder, so let's just create one and save it right here. Later on, if you want to add those things, all you have to do is on the reminder, just tap the I button and you will have all the options here in one place. You can even add a URL to a reminder or add a note. And you can of course enable date and time and everything else directly from here. So you can see everything can be added from the I button. Now here's another really cool feature of reminders that's actually super useful. Swiping on a reminder like this, you can see its details quickly deleted or just flag it from here. Here's another one. This one is actually really awesome. It has to do with reminders, but another app as well. So you tap on the reminder, you tap the I button and right here you can see it says when messaging. Now if you enable this, it will show you here the option to choose one of your contacts. So once you choose a contact, the minute you want to send something on iMessage to that contact, send a message of course, it will remind you that you have something to do with that contact or you have something maybe to say or things like that. So let's just quickly go ahead and select one of the contacts from the contacts list. So once you have selected the contact, all you have to do is just tap the done button. Now you're good to go. Once you go to the messages app and you try to message that contact, it will show you a reminder right here. That's how cool that is. Of course, it will remind you the first time you want to send a message to that contact that you have chosen from that list. Now let's move on to the iMessage app. This is pretty cool. We have a lot of tricks here that are really awesome. So let's say you have, of course, group conversations and you have individual conversations as well, but you want to quickly send a message to someone from a group conversation. All you have to do is 3D touch, not on this place right here, not on the conversation, but on the picture right there, it will show you the list of the members of the group and you can tap one of them to quickly go ahead and send a personal message to that member of that group conversation. Now you know that when sending a message on iMessage, you can just tap and hold here and you can of course add like different effects to that message this is really cool, but you can do the same thing with pictures as well. So let's just select a picture here. So let's say we want to send this picture, tap and hold the little arrow right here. You can see we can add these same effects to the pictures as well. And here we have another one. This one is pretty cool. You can send like secret pictures to someone. So if something maybe is like a picture or maybe a screenshot that contains some sensitive information, just make sure you go ahead and select here, send with invisible link and then tap the send button and you're good to go. What you will be able to do is send this picture, which of course the receiver will receive it like this, but you can just swipe on it like this, just move your finger around to reveal what's on that picture. You can see it will be covered again, so this is really, really cool. An awesome feature, of course, to have on iMessage. On iMessage, you can, of course, react with stickers. So you will have your stickers here. You can just go ahead and drag one of them and, of course, react to a picture or just send one of them. But if you want, maybe you have just like sent the wrong reaction, what you can do is tap and hold that sticker and from here, tap on sticker details. This will show you this preview right here, which allows you to quickly delete that reaction from that message. Moving on to the Notes app. Now the Notes app on iOS has a ton of super useful features. First of all, on any Notes folder that you have, not on the iCloud folder, but on any other folder, you can rearrange the notes any way you like. You can simply tap the three dots right there and just find here, sort notes by, and you will have 
oldest to newest, newest to oldest, or you will have, of course, title, date created, and date edited. And you can see this right here. We have date created and date edited, which means that it's not the same thing. This is because you will, of course, create a note, but later on you might edit that note. Now, what you can do here is on a note, just swipe down, and it will reveal the date it was created. Simply by tapping on it, it will also reveal the last date it was edited. As simple as that. Now, another thing you can do on the Notes app is turn a note into a PDF file. And that's super easy to do. Just tap the three dots right here and just tap the print button. Now, it will show you this preview right here. Just 3D touch on that page, tap again, and it shows you this preview here. And of course, you will have the PDF file now. You can tap the share button, save to files. And you can see right now, I can go ahead and save this note as a PDF file on the files app. Moving on to the app store. So you go to the app store and you go to your profile. What you will find here is purchased. If you go here and you swipe here to not on this iPhone, you can see all of the apps that have been downloaded on your account. So maybe like if you had this account like 10 or 13 or 12 years ago, you will see all the different apps that you have actually downloaded on your device. So you can see from 2011, 11 years ago, all the apps that we did download on our device. And we can even go ahead and of course, reinstall any one of them directly from here, which is really, really cool. Now from the list here of the apps that you have previously installed on your device, you can also hide apps. So if there are apps that you have downloaded your account, but you no longer wanna have them registered on your account, you can just swipe like this and tap on hide and this will hide that app from your account as easy as that. Moving on to the camera app, of course, one of the most used apps on iOS. So you know that when taking a video, whether you're taking it from the video section or the photo section on iOS, which you can do by simply tapping and holding here, you can swipe up and down here to zoom in and out. But you can see when you're doing that, so you start right here. You tap and hold the record button and it's, the zoom is at 1x. So you go here, zoom, but when you zoom out, it is, it, it, is, it is at 1x still. What you can do is just zoom all the way, just like drag your finger towards the bottom side of the iPhone and you can even zoom out at 0.5%. So that's really, really cool. Another thing you can do if you just wanna make a video that has a really smooth zoom is just swipe like this here at the one X and then you will get this like dial right here that allows you to use the finger to zoom in and out as easy as this. This might be, might be actually more useful if you're doing like a video where you have your iPhone standing like this, maybe on a tripod or something like this, that would be super, super useful. Now let's just go here to the portrait mode and this is pretty cool. So when you're taking a picture with the portrait mode, let me just try one here. So here we have the AirPods. Now, what you can see here on a portrait mode is of course the blur around the subject. Now, what this will do is actually change the aperture of the camera on your iPhone. Now, of course, this will be automatic, but if you just swipe up like this, you will see the aperture right here. This will allow you to actually adjust the aperture by yourself. So once you have, you can see right there, your object on focus, you can move this around and of course, increase and decrease the blur around the object. While talking about aperture, moving on to the photos app, we have another trick here. Now, if you have taken a portrait picture and you think the aperture is not the right one, you can still tap the edit button on a portrait mode picture and you will have the aperture right there. You can go ahead and actually adjust this even after you have taken the picture, which is super, super cool and very useful as well. And another thing, this you probably know, on iOS, when you have a live picture, you can tap the share button and this allows you to save that picture as a video. But did you know that if you have like multiple live pictures, like I have these ones right here, I can go ahead and select this time four pictures and then tap the share button and I can save these, all of them into one video. That's super cool. If you have a bunch of like pictures taking live pictures, you wanna turn them into a video, maybe for your social media, you can do that simply by selecting each picture you want. 
Moving on to Safari, we have three tricks here which are super cool. Now, when you're on a website, you see a link that you want to open, but you want to still be here. You can open that in the background simply by tapping with two fingers on that link. You tap there and you can see it's opening the link right here. Another really cool one, when you're trying to search something or you're on a website, if I tap there the search bar, but I just want to go back, I don't have to reach for the cancel button, I can tap anywhere there on a blank space on the screen and it will actually cancel the search or of course this the bar here if I'm trying to enter a new website, but I just want to go back, tap anywhere and you're good to go. You know that iOS 15 has the live text feature which works with the camera app, it works on the photos app as well, but it will also work on Safari. So if you're browsing Safari and you see something on a picture that you're interested in, you can simply select the text on that picture. Simply 3D touch on that text, you can see right here, I will be able to select this text even though it is on a picture, I can go ahead and select the text and click copy and just like that I have copied that text with the live text feature of iOS 15. And now let's move on to the phone app. Now on the phone app we have some very useful features. You tap the edit button at one of your contacts, now you can do this on the phone app or even on the contacts app. You tap on ringtone right here, this allows you to enable emergency bypass. This means that even though your iPhone might be muted, you will still get a ring from this contact. Of course, all of us all of us have those important contacts that we want them to be able to reach us at any point of time, just enable this and they will bypass the mute switch on your device. Another thing you can do is you can add people's social media. Now you can do that simply by adding a social media profile right here. So you can see you tap add social profile and you can, you can actually add their link directly here into the contacts card. Super cool. Another thing, the profile picture here. Now if you have a profile picture for one contact, but you want to remove that, you can do that simply by tapping that X button. And you can add, a, you can take actually a picture, add a picture, even add an emoji as a picture for your contact. But if your contact already has a picture, you can tap edit on it, you can choose it right here, but you can also add different filters to that picture, make it look way, way better. This is how you can edit your contacts on the phone app. So that's basically it for this video guys, these are some super cool tricks that you will find on stock apps of iOS. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe for more and leave a like on this one and we'll see you on the next video.